Yeah. 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 That's nice, isn't it? Be brisk. <laughs> I did not know to do this. Next time I read a small print. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, walkies, walkies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sit. <laughs> stop that, stop that. Stop that, stop that. <laughs> oh, is he all right? Oh, good. I've got my dog in the dressing room. He's a one man dog. Oh, he bites me. <laughs> oh, have I got time for more? Oh. I'll say to him, attack, and he has one. <laughs> stop that, stop that, stop that. Go on, sit, sit down there, sit down there. Oh. He took a big lump with one knee once, and a friend of mine said, did you put anything on it? I said, no, he liked it as it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Ah. Oh. My next door neighbour said to me, he said, you've got to get rid of that dog. I said, why? He said, he keeps chasing people on a bicycle. I said, well, take his bike away. <laughs> Thank you. Light bulb. Heavy bulb. Here's a little trick I picked up. I don't know who dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> blue there, white spots. White there with blue spots. Inside here, we have 
A blue handkerchief dyed white. <laughs> and a white handkerchief dyed blue. And inside here is just a brown empty bag. So now the spots are inside. Now what I'm going to do is this. I put the both handkerchiefs out there like that. Go zuzu of Hazar. Zuzu of Hawa. Now here's the blue handkerchief, which is now white. <laughs> Be brisk, I will. And here's the white handkerchief, now blue. <laughs> And now, I'm put it back inside the bag again. <laughs> and now I shall make some spots come on each handkerchief. Spots on each handkerchief. The hula la hawa. Also, hawa de hui. Do you see hula buwa? I do one. La hawa si I don't know what it means. I don't, I saw an internal side of these ones. <laughs> now, here we have the white handkerchief with white spots. <laughs> and here's the blue handkerchief with blue spots. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I do. I'll put them in there again like that. No, 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 no. Now, here's the blue handkerchief. <laughs> what happened then? What happened? <laughs> Did somebody else come on? <laughs> it's the blue handkerchief for white spots. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a lovely audience. I should do the full act tonight. I won't cut anything at all. all right? <laughs> and here's the white handkerchief with blue spots. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's a spot missing. <laughs> there is a spot missing. Come on, Spot. Spot. Oh. Come on, Spot. Where are you, Spot? <laughs> there he is. Hello. <laughs> Here's a joke. Last week I went to um, a travel agent to see about my holidays, and there was a big poster of a Mallorca. So I, I want to go there, so he pinned me to the wall. <laughs> and I went by Jumbo Jet, the pilot was an elephant. <laughs> And I always sit in the tail end of a plane, always. Cos you never hear a plane backing into a mountain. <laughs> and when I, got, when I got to the hotel in Mallorca, uh, they, they gave me the red carpet treatment. They did, I thought it was very nice of them. And they said, the beds are not ready, so you've got to sleep on the red carpet. <laughs> And I got to the room, and there was no ceiling to the room. So I rang out to the manager. I said, there's no ceiling to my room. He said, that's all right. He said, the man up over doesn't walk about much. <laughs> and when I got back, when I got back, I'm leaking. And when I got back, <laughs> when I got back from the holiday, so I parked the car in the drive, took the luggage out the back seat, and, and help my wife down from the roof rack. <laughs> and it was 2,000 milk bottles on the doorstep. And I said to the milkman, I said, I've been away on a holiday. He said, thank goodness for that, he said. He said, I was beginning to think you didn't like the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and there was water everywhere. Because my wife, she always leaves us taps running when, you know, when we go away. Because she's got a theory that it drowns burglars. <laughs> and the cellar was about seven foot high of water. Seven foot. 
I was so surprised, I nearly fell off her shoulders. <laughs> It started to rise the first floor, second floor, and third floor, which I couldn't understand. We live in a bungalow. <laughs> ah. Now, here's a little trick I'd like to show you now. For exactly top hat here, like this, I shall produce an elephant. <laughs> Just cover it there like that. Now, you must admit, it's taken a lot of magic to do this. Anyway, this one is a little bit small to do this trick. So, have you got a larger one there, please? <laughs> now, what I want to do is this. What am I going to do? What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap this top hat three times lightly. <laughs> and I shall get the elephant from it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. See that? <laughs> this one's just the same. <laughs> no trap doors!
time he got back down to kiss his love again and tell her to 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 see goodbye. Hey, to 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 see don't cry. That chuchu drink that takes me away from you. No words can tell us that it makes me kiss. Francisco Reserve for August Films Limited. Oh, splendid, my man. Thank you. Changing rooms at the location, you know. You didn't have to travel in costume. Young lady, 
I like to work my way into the roles I portray. Here. Aren't you that actor? Uh, let me see now. What's his name? Muswell Beamish. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Hey, I saw you on the telly the other night. Really? In one of them old films. Yeah. God, it was awful. <laughs> beer. Right, well, there'll be a studio car waiting for you at the other end. Have a lovely trip. Mustache. Thank you, my dear. Oh, I just made it. I thought I was going to miss it. Cool. You know, I never forget a face. Ah, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> that is a face, isn't it? <laughs> Do you take anything for it? <laughs> I know who you are. Really? I suppose you want my autograph? Certainly not. <laughs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> no, I've, uh, I've been resting for a little while. South America? Well, if you must know, but for some years I was, I was a bingo caller at Cleethorpes. <laughs> well, somebody's got to go there. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding, is it? Gee, that's incredible. You don't look over 80. Thank you. You went your hair done, haven't you? It's been dyed, hasn't it? Well, just a little tint, you know, to hide the grey. <laughs> <laughs> and you've had your face lifted, right? Well, as a matter of fact, so must we pursue this conversation? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's for Auntie Ethel. Who? Auntie Ethel! I heard you the first time. All right. In 1940. You frighten the life out of her. <laughs> you blew her false teeth right across the floor. <laughs> and it bit out of the You swine. <laughs> Sir, what has that got to do with me? Oh, you are terrible, man. You just don't care, do you? You've done some terrible, terrible things in your life. Sir, are you some sort of newspaper critic? Good day, gentlemen. Uh, is that really tea the swine? Don't you know who it is? Yeah, of course I do. But I mean, he's not that bad an actor. Eh? No, I think he's not. Oh! <laughs> what, actor? Woods well be, Mitch. Look, I'm sorry about this, sir. I've only had clock. Yes, it's true. <laughs> is it true? Yes. Could I have your autograph, Mr. Beamish? Get away from me! <laughs> well, you don't have to be like that, do you? I mean, everybody can make mistakes. I'm a great fan of yours. Get away! Are they touching these actors? <laughs> oh, dear. I'll say you never know he's at the next table. Is that actor? Might as well Beamish. <laughs> Must be Beamish? Axel, terrible actor. Should be shot. <laughs> you never know who you're going to meet on the train these days, do you? <laughs> Now, I'd like to introduce the winner of the 1973 Eurovision Song Contest. And in her honour, 
I shall make the introduction in French. Ladies and gentlemen, Anne Marie David. What now, my love? Now that you left me, how can I? Patrol, a group of keen young boy scouts off for a day in the country to learn woodcraft, led by their dedicated, enthusiastic scoutmaster. <laughs> They'll follow him anywhere because he knows where he's going. easy to get lost in the woods, so the experienced scout blazes his trail by cutting a notch in the tree as he goes along. <laughs> of course, care should be taken not to cut the notch too deeply. <laughs> A tent is no problem for the expert. <laughs> the 
It is, however, most important to pitch on firm, solid ground. <laughs> Having set up camp, the next thing is to look for water. Tadpoles for nature study. The scoutmaster teaches his troop to recognize our feathered friends. The cuckoo. The thrush. And the common woodpecker. Some green bottle hanging on the wall. Back to the base to start a roaring campfire. Must be kept well away from anything inflammable, such as the tent. Quickly, chaps, water to put out the fire. Or indeed, the scoutmaster. <laughs> A makeshift pressure cooker can be made from two tin cans sealed with clay. But personally, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I think we all agree it's fun to be a scout. something dramatic for you. <laughs> I'd like to do a one-man theatre. There should have been a one-man or one-woman theatre, but she never turned up. Because she did want to play the part of the sailor. So I should do, I should do both parts. <laughs> this side is Sally. <laughs> the very shy Innocent young maiden. You've got to use your imagination. <laughs> and the other side, a sailor. Tall, <coughs> virile, incredibly handsome. <laughs> he doesn't use your imagination here at all. <laughs> now, I want you to picture the scene. It's a tumble down cottage in 1898. There's a very long street. <laughs> and next door in 1897 <laughs> lives this wicked squire who wants to pull down Sally's cottage. <laughs> <laughs> to build a multi story cow shed. <laughs> but help is at hand. Oh, Sally. Oh, Jack, you've come back after all these years away at sea. I might that up for a start, haven't I? <laughs> Why don't you tell me you know I was doing it wrong? Sir. <laughs> <Sally. laughs> 
Jack. <laughs> After all these years away at sea, you'll come back to me. Oh, Jack, Jack. Is it really you, Jack? No, my name's Fred. <laughs> what? <clears throat> what does it matter as long as you come back to me? As long as you come back to me. Sub, 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 sub. Oh, Jack. Fred. <laughs> Jack, will you hold me? Will you hold me fast? I'm holding you fast as I can. <laughs> now, what about this wicked squire? Well, he wanted to throw me out into the snow with my two-year-old child. Well, don't you worry, Sally. After four years away at sea, I've saved a lot of money, and I shall. <laughs> How old do you say? <laughs> Two years old. What are we for? <laughs> four, nine, nine, well, four, six, six. <laughs> How did it happen? <laughs> well, you wrote very passionate letters. <laughs> Yes, you're quite right. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Anime! <laughs> that terrible wicked squire. He's to blame. <laughs> With his curly black hair and his little thin moustache and that hooked nose. Don't worry about the squire. Look at your little boy. <laughs> you're quite right, Sally. Look at him lying there. Beautiful in his cot with his curly black hair <laughs> and that little thin moustache. <laughs> and that hooked. It reminds me of somebody. <laughs> My mother. <laughs> My mother? <laughs> yes, your mother. And not only that, the squire. Sally, I'm going to leave you, Sally. Oh, no, Fred, no. Yes, I must. Fred, can't we start all over again? Well, all right, if you must. <laughs> we'll start all over again. <laughs> Jack, Jack! <laughs> After all these years, see, you come back. Well, you know the rest of it, don't I? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and now it's my great pleasure to present a goat disc to my next guest for selling a million copies of the latest records. Pun? What's that? <laughs> oh, half a million. You didn't tell me that, did it? <laughs> you said you were going to be brisk about this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Half a million records. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, design. Sometimes some things turn out how you
Right, right, right. Oh, do you like the suit? It's Burton's. Well, it was, but Elizabeth Taylor made him throw it out. <laughs> it's hair, Mo. There's Mo hair inside out. Shot silk. I shot it myself. The deck is not a bad fit, but the trousers are a bit tight on the armpits. <laughs> you know, every time I'm feeling down in the dumps, I always get myself a new suit. <clears throat> because they're cheaper down there. <laughs> <laughs> and the other week, I went along to a tailor to get a new suit, just to see how it was coming along. Coming along? My name's Mr. Fitting. I come here for a Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sir. No, no. The other way round. <clears throat> oh, all right. My name's Mr. Fitting. I come here for a Cooper. <laughs> yes, Mr. Cooper. <coughs> You're here for your fitting, yes? Yes. I thought so. Just one moment. Ah, uh, here we are. <laughs> Large pinhead. <laughs> Little wobbly chops. <laughs> The suit, sir, the suit, it's a pinhead. Oh, I see. I see, of course, yes, of course, yes. Shall we slip into the jacket? <coughs> Can both of us get in it? <laughs> All right. Woof! Hold that. Allow <laughs> me, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, then. here we go. Now, gen gently, gently, gently. Please, sir. After all, sir does appear to have rather fat shoulders. How can you have fat shoulders? It's only tact. Well, that's tact. What do you like when you're rude? <laughs> Would you care to look into the mirror? Certainly. I've vanished! I've disappeared! Oh! I'm over doing this. The other side. I've vanished. What? The other side. Oh, the other side, sir. <laughs> well, it's not bad as me, isn't it? Very really nice. But I thought the buttons would come with the price of the suit. <laughs> sir, this is only a first fitting. You get your buttons. All right, spare buttons? Well, in case I lose one. Well, of course. Oh, good. Because the last suit I had made, I had spare buttons and I lost a buttonhole. <laughs> Look, sir, would you mind lifting your left arm a little higher? Now put your right arm out. Bend it. Drop your left shoulder. Lift your right one. Fit you like a glove. I wish it fit me like a suit. Yes, perhaps you are right. Well, relax for a moment, sir. I'll just bring the fitter. Right. It was a terrible night in the desert. <laughs> They were putting the camels to bed. One camel sat with his legs crossed, scratching the back of his head. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> hey? It's making you laugh a bit, isn't it? <laughs> hey? Look, I'm in rather a hurry, my good man. Do you have any blue material? Any what? Blue material. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't use it as, as a rule. But I'll tell you what, I did hear one the other day, funny enough. <laughs> it was about this big, tall Scotsman. And he met this little, tiny woman, and she said... Uh, that looks rather interesting up there. Oh, you've heard it? <laughs> yeah, that boat of cloth, could you get it down for me? So, yes, all right. Let's yes. <laughs> feel that. It's half nard and half wool. Really? The, the sheep were fed on old plastic buckets. <laughs> it's made you laugh a bit, isn't it? Yes, that's very good. Yes? Yes. I'll have a suit in this. Really? Yes. Well, fancy that. Well, aren't you going to take down my name and address? Uh, yes, all right. Well, will it 
take long to make it up? Uh, no, I don't think so, no. Uh, Charlie Farnsborn. <laughs> 37 Lesby Avenue. Chiswick W4. Well, who is he? I don't know. I just made it up. <laughs> Look, are you or are you not going to sell me one of your suits? Surely not. They would fit you. <laughs> uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Cooper. No, no, that's Charlie Farnes. I'm Mr. Cooper. Uh, sir, could I be of assistance to you? Uh, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> it's not one of mine, is it? No. No, no I thought not. I've been on holiday. <coughs> Sir, so, we'll soon get this right for you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Alteration, sir. This jacket makes, sir, look as if he's got fat shoulders. What a grape? Oh, dear, they should never have let it get into this state before they check the measurements. Well, now you mentioned it, this sleeve seems a bit longer, shorter than this one. Shorter, yes. Yes, never mind. We'll soon fix that for you, sir. <laughs> uh, it's a bit shorter now, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, my God, look at those lapels. <laughs> How's the other sleeve? Great. <laughs> yes, to you, perhaps, but not to the expert eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, look at those pockets. <laughs> no, no, just, just a bit, just before we go any further, there's yes. something I've got to tell you. I know, I know, I know. It's the back sleeve, isn't it? Shoddy. Shoddy! All oh, have to be done again. Mr. Hillbeam, a word. Just a minute, I haven't finished. <laughs> Have a look at these trousers. Oh, good Lord, just look at them. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to buy one of my suits, you can get this one cheap. <laughs> now, this leg, come on. <laughs> Mr. Pillbeam, what is it? Red sails in the sunset. I'll kill you for this! Mr. Cooper, I, 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 I can help you. No, it's not my fault. I, 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 I'll pay you the money for the suit. I haven't got any pockets to put it, have I? <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to get home. Well, look, there is one thing we can do, sir, if you'll just step into the cubicle. Oh, oh, <laughs> Cavendish may need you. I feel like a little more reverence. How are we going to get beyond it? We're going to do it. Well, 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 I just want to get his pin in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you going to do with that pin? How am I going to get Hey, good. Don't worry, sir. We'll run, run you. Oh, you yes. going to run me on? Yes. All right, then you come on up. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, what a lovely audience you are. Do you know, I should never forget that time when I was in Hong Kong. It's true, this, uh, regarding about suits. And you know this, that in Hong Kong they can make a suit, what, in 24 hours? Even quicker than that. They can. <laughs> and I had the suit made, it was, a, it was a blue one, and it was like that, and I had all made like that. And I went back, and I started looking like that. <laughs> I said to the wife, what do you think of this? She said, not bad, not bad at all. I said, 24 hours, that's all. She said, what's the hat on the back? <laughs> I said, that's a tailor, still working on it. <laughs> Good night.